Hello there, everybody. So that's our next video and cruising around in Nebraska. And I went ahead and bought the trailer for Green Holland. That was what they previewed that we'd be able to see them actually loading the trailer and hopefully unloading the trailer. Um, so I had to buy a garage over here in Grand Isle or in Grand Island. And uh, so I went ahead and expanded it, filled the truck back up. I bought this trailer. Not too many options on it. I put more lights on it, chrome wheels, changed out the tires, um, things like that. But didn't really do a whole lot with it because wasn't much options. I went with that color scheme. Um, typically when you buy these trailers new, they're either going to be kind of a black or a dark gray or typically white. And I didn't want to go white with this truck because it just wouldn't look good. And they didn't have a custom paint job that matched. So we're just going to go with it. So I went ahead and cruised over here. We're actually back where we delivered the last load, if you've seen that. Um, and after I pulled in over here, it popped up and said that my load was ready to be loaded. And I noticed that my tarp is open. So, um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to stay in outside view for the time being. We'll see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Uh, get a better angle on this. That's about the best it's going to get, so I apologize if I don't get camera angles just right, but it's telling us to go up here and load, so we're going to go up here and we're going to load. We're going to see what happens. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go in here in a certain direction. It looks like I can go either way. But, it uh, looks like we need to be the other way. Going by the markers on the ground, so let's circle. In real world, in case you don't know, when you load a grain hopper, you would weigh in, they would get your empty weight, and then you'd go load, and then they'd get your loaded weight. And then you had your full gross, and then they knew how much they loaded on you. This is going to be a little different. So, uh, let's see if we can get on this trigger just right. Oh, okay. So stop me there. And I'm going to just kind of move around a little bit here. So you do see it filling up in there. That's really cool. So I'm going to assume at about 50% they're going to make me pull up, which is normal. Um, normally when you load this, you load your front hopper, and then you load your rear hopper. Then you weigh out, and then you leave. So, okay. So that is that one. So let's see. Let's hope I'm lined up enough to load the rear one. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we are hauling. While well, that's loading, we are. It just says grain. It doesn't say what it is exactly. The only one I could get there was only two jobs um, hauling this grain like this um, out of this town. Actually, period. Uh, one was to Junction City, Kansas, which is what we're gonna do. Um, I know it's taking us out of Nebraska, but it was the only choice I had. Um, or it was either that or go down to Texas. So, oh, and it pauses that when I'm in that menu. Well, it stinks, but that's okay. All right, I'm loaded and they tarped me back up, which is nice. So let's uh, hop back into inside view real quick. Let's get out of here. So it's not a very long drive. It's uh, 247 miles from here. It's actually shorter than our last trip. So we'll run this because I want to see the unloading of this as well. I want to see how that's going to work. So we'll go ahead and cruise there on the way and enjoy the sights and whatnot. Most of our driving today is probably going to be inside view. Outside view, I just, I'm horrible at it. Um, I don't know why. And I'm just not used to it, so. No, on the way that way I can see a. Oh, there's a tractor coming, I better hurry. Maybe he'll wait, maybe he won't. Yeah, he kind of slowed down. Alright, so another one of these goofy train tracks where I'm gonna have to just run the stop sign because I'm not stopping with the trailer on the track so hopefully we got a clearing come on car come on come on come on oh 
that don't hit nobody. Yeah, it looks like we just gotta cruise back through town again. <laughs> Already done this twice, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and cruise through town and get where we're going. feeling we won't do too many loads with this hopper if they ain't got loads going anywhere we'll see when we get to kansas um, for the next video see if there's anything coming out with this hopper if not we're we're gonna park it and go back to regular loads i like the idea of this but it needs more loads okay so we're gonna go straight through town we gotta go through the actual downtown. Good, good, good. Make life a little easier. See how my wheel's turning? And I'm not I'm not touching my stick. Sorry, I was looking at that, I'm just trying to show you guys the issue I've had with that. If anybody's not familiar with what what's going on with that it's called stick drift um, a lot of controllers get it over time um, mine's probably got it just from failure use probably full of dirt and dust you know just from not getting used really but uh, a friend of mine her controller was giving her so many fits with it and she tore her controller apart many times trying to fix it and do this and do that to it and I don't even know what all she did I just remember her doing it and talking about it and uh, she finally just said the heck with it and went and bought a new controller. And she was pretty upset about it, which I don't blame her because she, she'd bought a pretty nice controller that was a little pricier than normal. And it uh, didn't last, I think, maybe six months or so for her. So, just sad, but it's kind of how it goes. Let's see, traffic has stopped here. What are people doing? Grab you a light. Light must have just turned green. I don't know if we need to be in this lane or... Um, actually, we need to be in the left lane, looks like. So let's go there. Got a question mark up here. Must be a truck stop or something. Stop truck dealership. Yeah, it looks like a truck dealer over there. Looks like Peterbilt. Yep, good old Peterbilt. Guys, buggy, but I'm gonna try to go. Let's go, 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 go. car behind me followed me. Well, I am glad that I got this fixed where I can use my controller. But, oh god, it's hard to get used to still. Eventually, I'm gonna get me a uh, wheel and pedal stand for my uh, for my wheel setup. Now we actually start using it. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the room in here to do it.
Of course, I'm going to go past this guy, and he's going to speed up, and I'm going to get boxed out here. This AI traffic, I tell you. Break back on. We gotta turn up the top, so I'll just leave the signal on. I'm going to drink real quick. I'm taking a drink real quick while that was red. Speed up now. Every time I want to pass, they do that to me. And I actually don't think I've actually messed around much in Kansas. When Kansas was released, I was uh, real busy with work and working crazy schedules. So I don't think I ever got around to messing around in Kansas. So it's going to be a first for me on the Kansas. I don't know about you guys. So to keep in mind, guys, if you're going to do this event, um, I think it ends in July. If I'm not remember if I'm remembering correctly. What are we doing up here? Whoa, whoa, oh, I'm turning. I couldn't even see a turn signal in that car. Maybe I just missed it. But anyhow, uh, the event for Nebraska, I believe, will end in July. Don't quote me on that. Um, log into game or or look it up. Um, and keep in mind that for progression, um, doing the Nebraska stuff is got to be done through the external contracts um, or external market. I'm on external market, have my own trailer right now. We're in Kansas. So keep that in mind if you're going to do this event. You might want to hop into it if you haven't started. And just keep an eye on those dates. Over the speed limit, about to hit a guardrail. That'd have been ugly. There's a way station up here, man. That cute. Oh, they want me 
and stop. Normally I blow these scales just because I turned off um, everything, but I've never been through this scale to start with and I'm curious with this load and everything, how it all works. Um, having my own trailer and all that stuff. So let's just see what they do. I know they've done some changes, so brakes. Past oh, we have jump keyboard. Huh. So I'm eighty one thousand pounds. Technically that's a thousand pounds over gross in the US unless you have a permit. Um, and it told me my truck is not in perfect state of condition. I do know it needs some repairs. Probably needs tires. So that's different. So I wonder what, what happens when your truck is like in horrible condition. You know, those times where if any of y'all have ever played Truckers and Peen, a troll has jacked you up and messed you all up and destroyed your truck just about. It keeps shutting off and all that. If you went through a scale now, what would it do? I'm actually kind of curious in a way. If you actually know, let me know. Um, that would be interesting to see or hear about. I don't know if I'll ever let my truck get to that point because it's quite annoying when your truck just shuts off all the time. I know my truck's in need of repairs, but nothing crazy, so. But maybe that's my cue to do some repairs after this run. We'll see. Also, too, I'm curious about everybody else's opinion. I've, I've watched other people play this game, and so far, a lot of people are not real happy with the UI, the, the new UI that they did. So I'm curious of y'all's opinion. If you've been playing and you've seen the new UI, what's your thoughts on it? Is, is it clunky to you, or do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, me, personally, I hate it. I think they should have just left well enough alone. I think it was just fine the way it was. Um... To me, it looks like they went back to expansions, you know, to something that was really old looking. Um, I just, I don't care for it. It just, it, it has an older feel to it and it doesn't, doesn't seem as robust. If you know what I'm saying? So just curious of everybody's opinion on the new UI because I don't like it. And so far the people that I've seen playing it, they don't really seem to care for it neither. Um, so yeah, just, you know, just curious. Get some opinions from people. Coming up on Interstate 70, looks like we're going to be getting on the interstate. Yep, got to do a clover. Part of a clover. getting on this road. Alright. On the interstate now. And I'm sitting right in the zipper. I think I've discovered much of Kansas. We'll see. Well, haven't discovered Selena at least. I've already forgot where we're going in Kansas, honestly. I'm only 40 miles away though, it's good.
I scared that trucker, I know I did. Still struggling with controller. I don't know why, guys. It's taking me so long to get used to controller. I've been playing on keyboard for so many years, and I don't know why. It's just giving me so many issues. And it's not like I've never played with controller. I've um, Actually, before I really got into computer games, I used to play on a PS2. You know, back when I was a kid, and I'm going to be showing my age on this one, but back when I was a kid, I used to play um, Nintendo a fair amount with, with friends. I even had an Atari once upon a time. Um, I even had a Tandy computer at one time when I was a kid. So, been gaming a while and doing different stuff on computers, and I have used controllers over the years, but I do not know why I'm not getting used to this controller. And I think it's just habit, we'll call it. I can't even see the stupid light. What the heck is the light? Hold on, let's go external. Do we have a traffic light here? Oh, it's just a yield. Sorry, guys. I'm not a fan of these intersections they put on these interstates like this. I've been through these in real life, and they can be a real pain in the butt. And the number of vehicles I've seen go the wrong way in these, oh, man, is that funny. Well, not exactly funny, but interesting, to say the least. All right, so we gotta wait on this light. We ain't too far though. We got five miles. Looks like roads we shouldn't be on. Almost. video thing up here on our left but I don't think we're going to try to hit it maybe on the way out we'll see I'm not trying to maybe pop into that one there's another place to get a photo never done the photo stuff yet
reminds me of some of the places I've delivered grain to when I've lived in Texas. Drive through neighborhoods to get to the grain mill. Okay, that's what we're going up there on the left. So let's see. Before we pull in here, I'm going to go into outside view, so I might have to kind of stop a little here. <clears throat> we'll see how this is going to work. Let me see if I can zoom this back out some more. Did it zoom out? That's it. All right, I wish they'd fix that. So let's uh, get our blinkers to get in here. You guys will know that I normally just pick the easiest solution for delivery. Trailer delivery. You're not getting the whole trailer, guys. So it's not going to show it. So let's do the pull through spot here. It's not going to show it here. So I'm going to assume that it's only going to work in Nebraska, at least for the time being. Because it's not opening our tarp or anything. Okay, it's giving us the trailer unloading thing, but it's telling us to shut the engine off. So let's shut it off. And then hit enter to unload. And it's not going to show the unloading. So that's only going to work um, in Nebraska, apparently, guys. So that's kind of a bummer, but maybe they'll get that expanded. I mean, I like the idea of it, and I would like to see that more um, at times with um, other kind of loading. Uh, maybe other products, you know, when you go pick, you know, be able to buy a low boy trailer and be able to go over there and watch them actually park the tractor on the trailer or something like that. I mean, it would be kind of cool to see, you know, may not be what you want to see every time, but, you know, everybody plays differently. So anyhow, guys, um, that wasn't a bad run. Um, Could have went a little bit better, but um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go get those repairs done so the scale doesn't yell at me next time I go through there. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find us another load, and I'll be back at you later with a new video. So I'll catch y'all later. See ya.